Generally, it's not bad. It's the any person set or bad. Any person is usually high on the aluminum. Aluminum will clog your pores, but also is linked to high levels of uh, Alzheimer's in patients. Anytime you say antiperspirant, it means that you're cutting off the ability of the sweat gland to do its job, right? The body sweats for a reason, um, and one of those reasons is to remove toxic load out of the out of the body and out of the nose. The the skin and 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 the glands are, are our biggest detoxifying organ in the body, and when we take away its ability to do work, then we push those toxins deeper into our system. You know, putting deodorant in here, we've got lymph nodes all through here, and those lymph nodes drain the tissue that comes through this thoracic cavity in the breast. And we have higher and higher incidences of breast cancer in this country. And it's possible that some of the inability of the body to release toxic load through sweating and things like that, and pushing those toxins back into the node and back into the breast tissue could be causing or creating some of those increases in breast cancer. So when you're, when you're talking about Things that are scary, um, smelling is not that terrible. Sweating a little, a little bit is not that terrible. But cancer is terrible, and so you know I, I do everything that I can to avoid um, things that I think are going to kill me um, or my family. And 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 then I, I look at other things and go, you know, is this as dangerous as that? And the answer is, I don't like any persons because I think they can be dangerous. I don't want Alzheimer's, and I don't want cancer, and I don't want my family to have that. You know, and uh, and I'll. Give up a little bit of the sweating thing, as a, as a, and, and make sure I smell okay and use some deodorant. So then, what should people look for when they're um, trying to purchase a deodorant that isn't going to be bad for them? Well, I mean, I think you know you can you can go and buy some of the organic deodorants. They're made out of honeysuckles and different flower extracts and things like that. I, I find that. Um, I don't really love those, so I, I kind of stay with some of the name brands, and, and almost all of the name brands have um, non-antiperspirant options. Arm Hammer has one that doesn't have an antiperspirant in it. Yeah. That's one I found, and then you can use it and you don't smell. That's important, because yeah. not all of the natural ones are a limited odor. This is a, a, a natural alternative. Um, it's got no aluminum, no chemicals, no toxins. It's even made locally in Tampa. It's called Primal Pit Paste. It's made of coconut oil, essential oils. There's actually now different fragrances, but this is what I use. I like it. It works. Okay, that's what I use. Oh, that was good. <laughs> I use that. this. It's awesome. <laughs> I've been admitting it in public. But so you use you, you use swagger? I usually prefer Fiji because they're like palm trees and freedom. And wait, wait, wait. palm trees and freedom? Nice. This guy who got Botox injections in his armpits because he used to sweat through all of his shirts. And then um, since his armpits stopped sweating, it all came out in like his hands and his feet. So he constantly had like clammy, gross, sweaty hands. Oh, is that why you broke up? Oh. <laughs>